Good morning, Wednesday morning. <clears throat> this is the passage. It's quite a long one. It's out of Luke. Signs of the end of the age. Some of his disciples were remarking about how the temple was adorned with beautiful stones and with gifts dedicated to God. But Jesus said, as for what you see here, the time will come when not one stone will be left on another. Every one of them will be thrown down. Teacher, they asked, when will these things happen and what will be the sign that they are about to take place? He replied, watch out that you are not deceived, for many will come in my name, claiming I am he and the time is near. Do not follow them. <coughs> when you hear of wars and revolutions, do not be frightened. These things must happen first, but the end will not come right away. Then he said to them, nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, famines and pestilences in various places, and fearful events and great signs from heaven. But before all this, they will lay hands on you and persecute you. They will deliver you to synagogues and prisons, and you will be brought before kings and governors, and all on my account, on account of my name. This will result in your being witnesses to them, but make up your mind not to worry beforehand how you will defend yourselves, for I will give you words and wisdom that none of your adversaries will be able to resist or contradict. You will be betrayed even by parents, <coughs> brothers, relatives and friends, and they will put some of you to death. All men will hate you because of me, but not a hair of your head will perish. By standing firm, you will gain life. When you see Jerusalem being surrounded by armies, you will know that its desolation is near. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let those in the city get out, and let those in the country not enter the city, for this is the time of punishment, in fulfillment of all that has been written. How dreadful it will be in those days for pregnant women and nursing mothers. There will be great distress in the land and wrath against this people. They will fall by the sword and will be taken as prisoners to all the nations. Jerusalem will be trampled on by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. Now that's the passage. It's there. Okay, this is the New International Version of the Bible a very well-researched, well-translated version, and there it is. Oh, fuck. Excuse I. <laughs> Hello, boys! You're on camera! Fuck it, now, what are they up to? What is this? Hi guys, you're on camera. What, what's it all about then? Right, I hit here from last Tuesday right through to Saturday. Not one single person stopped her. I got so fed up, I thought I would stay in jolly old Stafford and wait for the doll. They've stopped my money. I've got that amount of money, sir, and they've told me I'm gone away. So every day I walk into the doll office and say, hello, darlings, and I type on their little computer and I walk out again. Because they haven't gone away. I've got no money to go anywhere and I can't get a lift. Good morning. Smile, you're on camera. I promise, honest to goodness, I won't ever light another fire again on that thingy because to keep you guys coming out to me is ridiculous. Right? I lit a small fire, yes. I saw the bloke driving round. They've got nothing better to do, sir, than piss around. How about stopping and picking up a perfectly nice tap on the side of the road? Apart from ringing you guys. It's perfectly safe, it's in a safe place, I've cleared the ground all around it. You know, it's not a, um, I've uh, worked in the Forestry Commission. 